I'll be showing you how to use the brand new Mi 6 temporary channel feature. Now this feature I believe has been introduced to Mi 6 about 5 days ago. It's still a really fairly new feature. So do expect some bugs throughout the setup process. Now let's hop right into the video. Now starting up you want to make sure you have the Mi 6 bot in your Discord server. If you don't have him in your Discord server I will have his invite link linked below. So you can just click it and it's pretty self explanatory afterward how to invite him now once you have obviously gotten him in your discord server all you want to do now is follow these steps uh given now now what you want to do is go over to your browser for me it's gonna be google chrome and go over to the website called me6.xyz because it's the me6 website i will also have this website linked in the description below if you can't find the website now uh, once you're here it will say login up here if you haven't logged in if you haven't logged in, just click login. I have, so click the drop down arrow and click my servers. Now wait for it to load and select the server that you want the uh, temporary channel feature to be in. For me, it's going to be the Xbox Hub, so click go to dashboard. Now once you're here, all you want to do is scroll down until you find the temporary channel feature. Now I have obviously enabled the plugin. If you click it and you don't have the plugin enabled yet, it will ask you, do you want to enable this plugin? Click yes. So once you're here, it's pretty self-explanatory. All you want to do is click either the advanced hub or the simple hub. Now I experimented with it. Even if I click this, it will also bring up everything on the advanced hub. So you can click either one. It will still be the same and everything is basically still the same. Nothing has changed at all. So we have the setup new hubs and we have the commands. The commands we will go over later on in this video. Now starting up we have user limit. Now we're going to work from the top until the bottom of this uh, box right here, the setup box. So here we have user limit. Now user limit is basically how many people can be in the VC at once. Now for me, you can either set it to unlimited means anyone and like, any number of people can be in it at once, but for me, I think I want to limit it to at least only 40 people in one of these uh, temporary channel VCs. Now, I don't want it to be overpacked, otherwise it may affect my server, but yeah. You can obviously set it to up to 0, I mean 1 to 99, or you can just set it to unlimited, which means any number of people can be in the VC at once. Scrolling down, we have keep alive. Now, duration until the temporary channel is deleted after every member has left it. So when there's zero people after a certain period of time, the channel will automatically delete itself. Now for me, I want to make sure it's at five minutes. So remember the time is going up in minutes, not hours or seconds, it's minutes. So if you obviously want to straight away delete after the everyone has left you can obviously just scroll here and select zero but if you want um it to never delete itself after a certain duration of minutes you can just go and select the unlimited option now for me i want it to delete itself after five minutes automatically but for you you can set it from uh, zero minutes to unlimited minutes now remember the numbers as always is minutes so don't get it confused with hours or days or something like that but yeah so scrolling down again we have ownership log now duration and minutes until the temporary channel is available for anyone to take over ownership now obviously this uh is a slightly harder feature to understand but i will obviously break it down and hopefully you will understand it at the end of my explanation now basically this feature allows anyone to take control of the vc after the current owner in this case would be me leaves the vc so basically once i leave the vc anyone can take over ownership which uh, allows them to you know control the vc the temporary vc that you have created now obviously for me i don't want anyone to ever have this so you can obviously select from zero to 10 minutes after uh, the current owner has left 
another p person who joins DBC can take over the ownership. For me, it's never, so I'm just going to go and select the unlimited sign, which uh, shows never. So basically, zero is once the current owner leaves the server, another person or another member can take uh, over the ownership straight away. If it's this unlimited sign, it will obviously be uh, never. So basically, even if the o current owner has left, nobody can ever take over the p uh, ownership unless he or she has obviously given it to hit, uh, he or she uh, manually. So I hope you understand this. It may be a little bit complicated, but once you read it a little bit, it will kind of make sense a lot. So again, going over this feature again, it's basically once the current owner leaves the server after a certain period of time, uh, the, it will automatically remove the ownership role of the current owner and anyone else who joins the VC can become the owner of the VC and control it. So scrolling down, we have allowed roles. Now, of course, allowed roles means what roles, uh, what roles do people need to join the VC? For me, I'm just going to add a role, which is called the verified flex role in my server. Obviously, you can add any role in your server. So if you have this role, you can obviously join the VC. Without it, you can't join. Now, ban roles is roles that you can, like, basically roles that can never join this VC. Even if they have uh, special perms or anything, they absolutely cannot join this VC. Now, scrolling down, we have the temporary channel name, which is obviously in my case, it's going to be maybe, what should we name it? Let's name it temp VC. Now you can obviously name it anything you want. Keep the name short, obviously. You don't want it to be too long, otherwise people might not be able to read it. Now scrolling down, we have owner permissions and we have text channels. So owner permissions is basically uh, what permissions does the owner of the current temporary VC have? And we have text channels, which we'll be covering shortly. So owner permissions is the owner, in this case, is me. What can he do with the temporary VC? For me, I want myself to be able to manage the channel, permissions, priority speaker, and move members. Now, obviously, you can set any of these. Let's say you don't want uh, the owner to manage the channel, so you can off that. Can maybe enable this, you know, enable this, that, you know, I'm just gonna uh, enable four of them because I'm the owner of the VC. Now, here we have text channels. Now, this part is optional. I don't recommend you really do it. I don't know. I mean, it's up to you, it's completely uh, customizable by your choice. So, here we have a text channel. So, let's say once you have obviously created this temporary channel thing it will also as well as just creating a vc it will also create a text channel for dedicated commands or maybe chatting with people now for me i do want a text channel to be enabled so people can as well as just using and talking uh, with their vocals they can also type manually and talk to other people with this specific channel that will obviously be del deleted after this uh, temporary vc is deleted as well now here, moving on, we have just, this is just create a temporary text channel. So basically when you create this, uh, this temporary VC, it will also create this text channel. Now here we have voice commands. Now basically the commands are all down here. We will be moving on to it shortly uh, in the video. So basically this channel can only be dedicated to these commands, uh, which will obviously, um, we will move on, like I said, later on in the video. So this text channel can be only dedicated to commands so these commands cannot be used in any other channel except the associated temporary channel text channel which is obviously this thing so for me um, yeah i think i want to have only people using the commands in this channel now here we have this thing now obviously you will not be able to click it because as you can see right here it says here soon now this um, feature will come out really soon i might uh, notify you guys in the comment section below once it's come out but for now it's still locked and it's still not able to be used so basically a s coming soon ch uh, thing is only users connected to the temporary chat void VC will be able to read and send messages in the, pro in the associated temporary text channel like I said this text channel right here now commands now this part is maybe I think pretty important for this feature 
now we have let me see we have nine commands in total uh, i will have a pinned comment below uh, dedicated to all these commands and helping you out if you need quick reference to the commands now here we have voice ban ban a user from the uh, temporary vc we have voice kick which is kick a user from the temporary vc we have uh, a voice rename which will rename obviously rename the vc voice claim so basically once as always moving on back to this feature right here ownership lock so basically this uh the new person who wants to have ownership of this can execute this command to claim the ownership of the vc now we have voice limit so you can change the uh user limit of the vc voice transfer so you can transfer the ownership of the temporary vc to a user that you want we have voice clean delete all inactive uh, temporary channels basically so if you have more than one on you can just execute this command and delete absolutely all that has zero members in it now we have voice owner which is basically uh, check the ownership of every, each voice uh, VC so let's say you want to check uh, this one let's say you want to check temp VCs who is the owner of the current owner of this temp VC you can just execute this command and will obviously tell you blah 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 who's the owner his age whatever i don't know i've never tried this before and we also have voice unban so as always once you ban a user from the vc you can obviously unban them by using this command and mention them so if you need help with any of these commands i will have a pinned comment down below so you can ref uh, refer to it quickly so that's about it on how to use the temporary uh, channels now remember even if you click any of these it doesn't matter you can just click any it'll be still the same all the features are saying nothing changes so i'm obviously not gonna click save once you're done with everything obviously you want to click save but i don't want this temporary channel in my server just yet i'm just gonna click cancel so let's go back to our discord server and yeah we're back and i hope you guys enjoy this video i hope this helped you if you have any further questions Feel free to join my Discord server and DM me, or you can drop a comment down below. I'll try my best to reply to you as soon as possible. Be sure to join my Discord server. We are closing in on 100 members. We currently have 70 members. But yeah, I am also going to plan a Nitro giveaway, so maybe that's something that you want. Uh, maybe join my Discord server and you may have a chance to win it. We also have booster perks in our uh, server, so be sure to join. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope this helped you. Further questions, comment it down below or join my Discord server and drop me a DM. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and see you in the next video, guys. Bye, guys.